Spherical harmonics play a very fundamental role in a lot of rendering applications and a lot of computer graphic applications. They form a basic building block for 3D Gaussian splatting based methods. And in this video, I wanted to delve deep and analyze how different orders of spherical harmonics impact the final rendering. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Roof. I am an engineer at Convolve. And at Convolve, we assist small, medium, large enterprises with their computer vision and AI-related needs. If you want to get in touch with us, here is our contact information. Feel free to email us, feel free to contact us, and we would be happy to assist you. We would be happy to discuss your specific challenges that you're facing and provide our insights and solutions. All right, guys, so let's take a look at um, the effect of spherical harmonics on 3D Gaussian splatting. Um, so essentially in this video, I'm trying to give you an idea of how different orders of spherical harmonics impact the final rendering. And uh, it was uh, given my prior videos on 3D Gaussian splatting. Um, it was a certain extension, uh, an obvious extension for me to use those examples itself to showcase how different orders of spherical harmonics play a role in the final rendering. Uh, so uh, if uh, you guys don't remember, you can take a look at in one of our previous videos as well. Uh, however, uh, essentially this is how the spherical harmonics are organized. We have zero order, uh, first order, second order and third order spherical harmonics. And we have spherical harmonics that correspond to R, G and B channels. So for each of the different channels in the image, there uh, is zero order, first order, second order, and third order spherical harmonic coefficients that are in combination used to perform the final rendering. Now, uh, in order to determine what role these different spherical harmonic coefficients play, uh, I did some experiments. So essentially, the experiments involve um, setting the zero order to zero uh, or zero order uh, coefficients to zero so that you're saying that they don't have any contribution anymore. Setting the first order to zero, second order, third order, and uh, a combination of all of these things. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, give you some examples here. So guys, uh, for different orders of spherical harmonics in this file, shutils.py, we have the information about how these are used in order to get the final RGB uh, rendering. Uh, so this function evaluate sh uh, basically takes in the uh, spherical harmonics, all the coefficients, and then the output is an RGB result. Uh, so it's using all of these weighting factors in order to compute uh, the RGB from those different orders of spherical harmonics. So we have the coefficients for zero, first, second, third order for spherical harmonics. And these are um, further used to produce the RGB rendering. Now, in order to, as I've already showed, um, uh, to understand the effect of different kinds of spherical harmonics on the final output. Um, I did some experiments when rendering. So here is the function is uh, uh, command to render uh, the output from the Gaussian model. Um, in the rendering code, I modified and I said that, you know, take the spherical harmonics and set uh, different kinds of uh, uh, spherical harmonic coefficients to zero. And let's go over and see what the results look like. So here, um, essentially, this image uh, is the spherical uh, is with the, the entire uh, coefficients from the trained model. So nothing has been modified. This is the original trained model. In this one, the zero order spherical harmonics are um, set as it is, and everything else, the higher order, the first, second, and third order spherical harmonics are all set to zero. So this is the rendering. So you can see that even though the first, second, and third order spherical harmonics are all set to zero, we still see that uh, uh, you know there is uh, uh, quite substantial rendering done. So most of the information about the RGB values in the scene is encoded in zero, one, and two, uh, sorry, in the zeroth order spherical harmonics for the R, G, and B channel. 
in this image however uh, over here the zero order spherical so harmonics are set to zero and everything else is as it is and you can see now uh, all the rgb information is gone you can see that there is still information and most of this information pertains to high frequency components of the scene for example the edges uh, you can see the trees and uh, uh, the grass in the background um, the edges of the vehicles in the background they are all preserved in this image in the second uh, first second and third order spherical harmonics um, if we move further you can see that here in this image um, this uh, area over here this bush uh, is different uh, from this rendering here you can see it's much blood uh, and this blood is caused because all the higher order spherical harmonics that encode high frequency information and uh, information about how um, the the high frequency components of the scene look like from different angles that has been set to zero so that information is gone and hence you can see bloodiness here even in the sky you can see the difference uh, for example uh, if you look at um, this part over here the sky over here is a little different you can see there are certain artifacts here when you set the zeroth order to uh, when you set the zeroth order as is and all the other orders to zero um, Similarly, uh, here in this image, uh, we can see that, uh, again, it's the same thing here. Um, uh, this image, the first image is with nothing changed in the Gaussian model. The second image uh, has uh, the zeroth order uh, spherical harmonics unchanged, what the higher orders are set to zero. And this image is with every uh, thing except, uh, with, with everything as is, except just the, uh, zeroth order spherical harmonic coefficient set to zero um, and you can see that here if you look at in the circle um, when uh, nothing has been altered in the Gaussian model the uh, this grill over here is very clear but when we set the higher order to zero you can see that this grill does not become uh, very distinctive and that can be seen over here as well where you can see that uh, when the zeroth order is set to zero the higher order spherical harmonics contain the information about this grill the high frequency components in the grill um, and this way uh, this is an illustration as to how these different orders have an impact on the final rendering so in summary guys in this video we have talked about how different orders of spherical harmonic coefficients affect the final image and i've given you example from renderings from Gaussian splatting model itself uh, we've compared how zero order uh, affects the final rendering and how the higher orders and I hope you got some sense of how these different orders of coefficients impact the rendering for uh, the final uh, image thanks a lot for watching guys if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new video that we upload thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video